loose ball after the miss by Baldwin. Fowler grabs it. Now another chance for the lefty. Kamar Baldwin has the Bulldogs on the board. He's been the leading scorer in the Horizon League. As the attack that time came from Jacob Holland. The putback from Blackshear. Bounce pass to Brunk. Joey Brunk hasn't missed yet this season. He's eight for his first eight on the year. This is McFolly with the fall away jumper. That's the rebound. Detroit Mercy doing well outside of Antoine Davis. <laughs> Joey Brunk's there, gotta feed him. Shot clock at five. Baldwin with a bounce feed and badly with the dunk. Two points in two games. Only one for six shooting so far. That's a three, and it goes down. Speaks to the coaching and the ability of Mike Davis on the sideline. Fowler backs his way in and scores. Oh, it's Baldwin on the move toward the basket. Baldwin does it himself. Oh, and Kamar Baldwin is good two-way players you'll find in college basketball. Oh, We're on an 8-0 run. Brent will make it 10. Puts the foul. Back down to Brunk. He finds McDermott near the basket. And if you're Detroit Mercy, you got to run some offense right now. Too much one on one basketball. Except if you're going to have lanes. <laughs> Zip that right. one inside. Baldwin's field's been off here to start this second half. Forcing a lot of things. Drives, passes. Davis. Seems like he is doing whatever he wants out there on the floor. And it falls right to Davis. Davis stops and pops from three. Antoine Davis starting to get hot. When you got Davis starting to find the rhythm. Fowler again, that lane opens. They went right past. They are truly the offense for Detroit Mercy, and it's Antoine Davis once again from long. And this one falls for Antoine Davis. The horizon. Baldwin gets to the free throw line, puts up the runner, and will go to the free throw line. Mercy has again. made six of its last seven shots, but they've turned it over a few times now. And Joey Brunk gets loose inside. Antoine Davis has gotten rolling in this second half. As Blackshear cleans it up. Gets her down low. Got to get him a touch. Keep him involved. Keep him interested. They work it around to Jorgensen again. This time, the three falls. Poked out by McFolly. It's Detroit Mercy on the run, and it's McFolly over Baldwin, plus the foul. Baldwin gets to the free throw line, hits the jumper. Turning Butler's lead back to 12. Davis. McFolly. Has had a productive second half as well. That, along with the play of their two stars, keeping them in. McDermott looking for the answer and gets it. For Darian King. Now Thompson able to score on the other end. As Baldwin brings it up with the shot clock winding down. Sends it out to Badley. And Badley just before the buzzer. His eighth. Hand off to Jorgensen. Three falls for Paul Jorgensen. Another takeaway. Thompson punched it out. Jorgensen's alone. The left-hand layup. 